White Howard dropped his defamation lawsuit against Mason LJ, who publicly accused him of being bisexual. Oh my God, sources claim that, that the lawsuit was dropped due to Dwight being unable to prove that the claims were in fact a lie. Are we surprised by this news? I'm gonna say that, I, you know, I'm gonna step in here. I'm, I'm very proud of Dwight Howard. Um, I feel like he's dropping this suit because he, for the first time, or he's tired of using or spending a lot of money to hide his sexuality, right? And this last experience taught him that, look, you can actually get through this. You can get through the rumors. You can get through the lawsuits. You can get through all of this because at the end of the day, do people really care anymore, Dwight? It's been rumbles for years. And I like the fact that he dropped it because I think he's becoming more comfortable with his sexuality. And this shows that because Dwight has spent millions in the past, allegedly, to make stories like this go away. To see him step from that and start to walk what appears to be in his troop by some of the things that he's posted about, what happens in his bedroom is his business, who cares, this is his life and he's gonna live his best life. He's saying what he needs to say without actually saying it, and I support him because for <laughs> a black male NBA athlete who has all of these like stereotypes on him and not able to really live his troop, true life this is this is a this is like a rebirth so instead of us chastising him for that i think we should support him because we need to create an environment where more men whether you are gay bisexual or trans can walk in your truth with your head held high and not <laughs> down because you feel like you're doing something that shouldn't be done Come on, real quickly, I just got to get your two cents in on it. What that was a beautiful soliloquy, monologue, <laughs> wherever we're going with that. But the facts are this. He had to drop that because he had already admitted in his new lawsuit that he's into sex parties, threesomes, transgenders, and all of these other freaky things, okay? So he's already in a, he's in a new lawsuit. So he tried to make it seem like this guy, Mason, was lying about all these allegations in 2018. However, just for it to come back up last year that he was, in, in fact, into it, and actually he was doing this stuff while he had his son upstairs sleep. Yeah, that's six years ago. Six years ago, he was in the closet. Six years ago, he wasn't comfortable with his sexuality. So he did try to, I just said he masked his sexuality with lawsuits so that people would, so it wouldn't get out. So I think don't, don't, don't down a man for his change. Celebrate his change because it motivates others. It really does encourage no. others. He's not the only athlete, the only black male athlete in the game or in the business that's bisexual or that prefers trans women. It's okay to let them be themselves and we have to create an environment to allow them to do it. I, I, I know that I've been in this position and I can't be on this platform and not applaud somebody for taking a step to encourage others. But I, I gotta push back just a little bit because I think that it's not fair for the person with the fame and the money to use and exploit and, and take advantage of, uh, you know, a Mason. And then all of a sudden when they come and speak out because they don't have the power, they don't have the access, they don't have the influence, people automatically assume they're a clout chaser, they're a liar. And then you try to take them to court to diminish their story when in fact their story is true. Yet this young man got trashed in the media, misgendered as a transgender, he's not a transgender, he's a gay man. And okay. people wanted to believe that he was a clout chaser looking for money when in all actuality Dwight Howard was looking to bust a nut oh my god today okay wow. but I, I like I said that was that was six years ago yeah but we can't we ago. can't we can't That's call Dwight Howard people can't, people and can't, throw, and then, people can't we, change people can't change and grow you just said that you committed a fraud you lied and, and and went to jail for getting a car out of your name are we supposed to judge you now for what you did then no Armand we take it and we say you know what that's cool you learned and you grew and you're no longer that thief that liar and that fraudulent <laughs> person period oh we got we got Claude we got to go to break baby uh